Reminder of Mother Nature's power, which segues into the start of hurricane season 2014 just around the corner. Later this week, the Climate Prediction Center will give its forecast for what may be in store beginning June 1st. Tonight, Storm Team 5 Chief Meteorologist Steve Weigel here with his take. Steve? It's challenging science, Michael. All right now, all the factors are pointing to this being a mild season with a below average number of named storms. Tonight, the top five factors that go into forecasting hurricanes. First, it was Hurricane Francis in September 2004. Exactly three weeks later, Jean tore through. The following year, Wilma. It's been nine years since a hurricane struck Florida. It's the longest streak on record, but that could change this year. El Nino, it's a one thing this season has in common with 2004. It was a mild pattern then, and it's shaping to be a mild pattern again this year. Typically, the warmer surface Pacific Ocean temperatures in an El Nino year reduce the risk of hurricanes by increasing wind shear. But it was too mild a pattern in 2004 to have that effect. This year, we could also see a good amount of sand being blown across the ocean from Africa. Those Saharan winds also keep hurricanes from forming. And if you live in South Florida, you've heard of the Bermuda High. The closer the high is, the greater the threat for us. It's too early to tell where it'll form, and one of the most difficult things to forecast when it comes to hurricane tracks. When it rains in May, does it matter? A retired National Weather Service meteorologist thought so after looking at 75 years worth of May rain totals. He found South Florida is three times more likely to see a hurricane after a dry May and three times less likely to see a hurricane after a wet May. Right now, we're right about on average for May rainfall totals. That May rain theory is not widely accepted, but it's very popular nonetheless. Still, it's another voice added into trying to understand this year's hurricane season. Even if it is a mild hurricane season with a below average number of storms, that doesn't mean one could be strong and threaten South Florida. Even during 1992, the Hurricane Andrew year, we had a moderate El Nino, and of course, Andrew hit. So we have to be vigilant as we.